Washington and Oregon, their state legislators are attempting to put something together to keep the state schools tied together. Now, Oregon and Oregon State are part of the same university system uh, that the government somewhat oversees. We'll, we'll make it very cut and dry with that, very easy. There's a lot more that goes into it, obviously. But with those, uh, they, are, they are attempting to do that with Oregon, Oregon State, and Washington, Washington State. This from the Wall Street Journal says, Meanwhile, in Washington and Oregon, there's talk of possible legislation that would require publicly funded universities in their states to compete in the same conference, moves that would bind the Huskies to Washington State and the Ducks to Oregon State, possibly complicating any realignment move. Now, this is very interesting because Oregon and Washington are two of the bigger brands in the Pac-12. And I don't know if it's USC and then UCLA too, or if it's USC and then Oregon and then Washington and then UCLA. Who knows? But they are all for the big brands. Stanford is a pretty big brand, but I don't think that they are on the same level as far as national uh, awareness, right? That's the biggest thing. Uh, What I'm curious about is the fact that this would leave so much money on the table for Oregon and for Washington, for the Ducks and the Huskies. In doing this, they're effectively, you know, cutting their own feet out from under them. If you are, and we saw this a lot with Oklahoma and Oklahoma State. Everybody assumed that those schools would be tied together. Same with, I believe, Texas and Texas Tech way back when. And when there was talk of those Big 12 schools joining the Pac-12 with Larry Scott and whatnot back in 2012, I believe it was, maybe earlier than that, may have been 2010, when all of this initially started. There was talk of that because the state legislators wanted to tie those smaller schools in with the bigger schools because those bigger schools, uh, you would take those big schools even if you had to take Oklahoma State and Texas Tech or whoever else. You would do that because you had to have Texas and Oklahoma. In this situation, everything's kind of been thrown out. Remember, USC and UCLA, two completely different universities. One's publicly funded, one is private. USC is the private institution. UCLA is part of the UC system. UCLA and Cal have always kind of been tied together. And in this situation, the Board of Regents, the the group that oversees UCLA and the UC system, said this makes a lot more sense. You're only getting $20 million a year in the Pac-12 That could drop. It may rise a little bit, but it will never reach what the Big Ten is doing. And if the Big Ten is interested, then it makes sense for you to go and and get that money. So uh, this this is going to be interesting. If the legislators do this, and it also might have already cost them an opportunity to move anyway. Obviously, the Big 12 would look at this. But the Big Ten may not be interested in going over this and waiting to see whether or not these state legislators require the Big Ten to also take Washington State and Oregon State because they want nothing to do with that. That adds nothing to, no value at all to their media rights deal. Maybe Oregon and Washington do somewhat, but it's also already been reported that if Oregon and Washington join the Big Ten, they are not going to get full member uh, money for the deal, for the length of this first contract. So USC and UCLA will. They will get a full member's uh, fee, whatever it is. Whatever everybody else in the Big Ten gets, those two are going to get the same thing. Oregon and Washington would get just a a minor cut because they are not going to be worth as much as these bigger brands uh, or those that have been around for a long time. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.